Welcome back to 3-Hour Ballistics. And like the title says, today we're going to take the 7mm PRC ELDX in Federal out past 1,000 yards. We should be getting velocities close to 3,000. Uh, what I've been seeing is about 2,950. Um, and we want to see if we get some expansion out of this bullet. Now, how are they going to perform past 1,000 yards? We're going to go out to the range and see how they do. Let's go. Okay, so we're out at the range. We got the Garmin, we got the Ruger American Go Wild with seven millimeter PRC. We got the ELDX 175 grain. Let's go past a thousand, see if we can capture this bullet. We'll check all the velocities and everything with that. So let's get shooting. Let's see if we can get Right at 1,033 yards. Good? Yeah. First shot. 2,965. Got it on the first shot. This is the seven millimeter PRC. Okay, we're starting to take this apart, but it looks like that seven millimeter is right in this area. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're talking the last inch. inch. So for you guys that are curious at a thousand yards, let's see how much clay, and this is soft clay, it is probably 90 out here today but we went through it looks like about 16 inches of clay and when we had, and when we had measured the opening not that it's here anymore we were roughly about 10 inch cavity in the front but there it is the ELDX seven millimeter We'll weigh this when we get back to the shop, let you know how much was retained. Okay, we're back from the range and we were able to recover the ELDX bullet, which is right there. What I also did was take out one of the ELDX bullets from the casing just to show 175 grain as it should be. And what was retained is about 111 grain. So at 1,033 yards, we lost close to 64 grains in the clay there. Um, as far as expansion, let's see. I think the widest point on, I believe the widest point on this is gonna be about right there. So as it shows, Looks like 0.57. And what we're really doing is comparing it to the Federal's Terminal Ascent, which is that one right there. That's a 170 grain. Um, and as you remember in the thing, we we're at 166, so it retained a majority of its, of its uh, mass there at 1,000 yards. This one at its widest is about 0.63 and much more uniform much more uniform as you can see the terminal scent and the ELDX let me zoom in for you guys so there you go so this is what you have at 1,033 yards. This is the 
Federal Terminal Ascent Bullet. This is the Hornady ELDX. Both of them shot from the same point. 1,033 yards. We're going to go ahead and test these both at 500 and 100 yards to see what else we get as far as expansion. And at 1,033 yards, we were still going over 2,000 feet. We are going 2,012 feet per second. And this hit with 1,574 foot-pounds of energy. So this still was moving quite a bit. I'll go ahead and insert the graph if I haven't already so you can see the breakdown. So if you want to see more of this, comment below. Let me know what else you might want to see. Until the next one. Yeah, that's freaking close. If... Cold bower. That was to the right. Fucker. Oh, so close. Fuck. That felt like a good squeeze. <laughs>